Hello everyone and welcome back to Erin and my Let's Play Mabinogi series. Uh, if you remember last time we got a locket that we could use to do an RP dungeon. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm standing in Albi dungeon right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and Go right in. See what we can learn about the three missing warriors uh, from doing this. Okay. You are entering Tarlac's memory using the memorial item. And there they are. Ryrie. I think that's how you pronounce it. Your school sends students to dungeons for practice? What kind of teacher sends a child into a place like this? Mari. I like her, she's cute. Don't you talk about Reynolds like that? You don't understand how great he is. I guess some girls can't hel help themselves in front of a young, handsome male instructor. Oh, and that's Tarlac. The guy who Duncan suspects to be the bear. Maybe he wants those girls to be ready to look for their peers in times of great duress. It's okay, because everyone from, from Tier Chanel is strong enough to take care of themselves. Haha, <laughs> after meeting you, I believe it. Are you ready to go? And we're playing as Ruari. I'm just gonna set up the skills. Let's see don't have a lot but oops just gonna set them up like I'm used to make it easier to use <laughs> there we go oh okay that's kind of creepy I've never seen that before these are the ears that my character <laughs> is wearing. That's actually kind of creepy. A pair of cat ears are floating in the air. Right. <laughs> I've never seen that before actually. Okay gonna use that is there anything in here I don't remember this dungeon very well because it's been a long time since I did it but I do remember that it's pretty easy to just one hit all the spiders. As you can see, this character uh, I am role playing as is level 53, and these spiders are pretty much the weakest mobs you can find. And there's no use picking anything up because I won't be able allowed to keep it when I go back to my own character. I'm just gonna leave everything. It won't do me any good anyway. And I won't keep the uh, skill uses, so I can't use it to rank up my own skills either, so I'm just gonna 
one hit them. Get the keys. To proceed. I do remember this dungeon being really easy, but it's quite a bit to run, so... I have no use for a 30 HP potion, because I have potions. Oh, do need a key though. almost done. It's kind of annoying that they lock you in the room. I can understand why they do it, but it's still kind of annoying. Uh, when you get the key in the first one or two and still have to kill all of them before you can keep going. Um, there's nothing in there. wonder if this is this be the room? Yes. Let's take a short break here. That looks cozy. There are so many spiders here, and they're so big. If you think that's big, then wait till you see the one inside the dungeon. What? This is quite unusual. There might be a connection with the rise in wild animals. Yeah, I did notice a lot of wolves on the way here. Oh, you mean it wasn't always like that? Even a few years back, this was quite countryside. Are you sure you're from around here? Humph. <laughs> of course Mary's from Tirchinel. I just don't remember. Oh right, she's lost her memory. Right, sorry. I forgot you said you lost your memory. Your memory loss is probably druid magic. I believe my master was able to cast such, such spells. But don't worry, I sense no evil about your enchantment. Wow, Tarlek is so nice. I like him. Nothing like that jerk, Ryri. What? Jerk? That face. There are times when I wish I had memory loss myself. Right, your sister was killed by the Phobors. Oh, right. I don't know if you remember, but this locket that we got that we used to get in here, uh, there was a photograph of Tarlac and his sister. Um, inside it. Ryri, you have the worst manners. It's okay. It's the truth. And the reason I'm searching for Tirnanag along with Ryri. Don't worry, I'll train harder and one day I'll rid the world of all the foamers. Haha. <laughs> Ryri, you're such a brute. Ha. <laughs> anyway, let's head out. Okay. I really like these little cutscenes because I love the art uh, on the NPC portraits and the cutscenes are really well put together, well done, so it kind of looks like a movie. 
although there is no uh, actual voice acting. Stop it. There we go. I think there's a key in one of these. I think one of them is an actual chest. might be wrong, but there usually is one that's simply a chest. So it should be this one? Yes. And more spiders. almost done with this. I actually kind of remember this as taking a lot longer, but it didn't even, it only took about maybe 15 minutes for all of it, so I'll pick that up just for the sake of it. I don't think I have any use for it. In this. No, I don't. And the giant spider. These red ones are actually a bit tougher than the white ones, but not much. It's not even been 10 minutes since I started going through this dungeon, because I took that 10 minute speedwalk potion just as I entered, but and it's only now oh come on come on now it's being deactivated good job Ryrie, we definitely need to look into this place further. Spiders like these are not usually found in Erin. It's the former's doing. Don't we usually see these in the dungeon anyway? Yes, but not so many. I wonder if it has anything to do with the goddess. Goddess? What does this have to do with the goddess? Well... A beautiful goddess appeared in my dreams last night and told me something was going on. Are you sure it wasn't a romantic dream? Ryrie, tell me more. Um, okay, so. This black-winged goddess appeared in front of me, standing in the darkness, and told me to come to her. She warned me that the world might be in great danger. A black winged goddess? To Tirnanog? Tarlac, do you know what this means? Dungeons were originally created to protect Erin from the creatures of the Fomal world. 
They are formed by the power of the goddess in Tirnanag. However, if the number of formers is increasing as they are now, then something is surely wrong with the goddess. Ryri's dream could have really been a message from her. Does that mean that I'm the chosen one? I'd better get going then. Mari will go too. Maybe the goddess can help me remember my past. And we're out. And we need to go talk to Duncan about this. We have another quest anyway that we need to talk to him because uh, she has come of age, as it were. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but in this game, uh, every week you age up one year. Oh, right. Uh, I need to move this somewhere. Where did I? Uh, there is a um, Halloween event going on. So I'm gonna keep getting these every 10 minutes. And it's quite annoying when you're not intending to do that particular event with this character. I'm doing it with my main. Uh, it's a rock, paper, scissors event. I might actually go and do the Halloween dungeon, though, in the next part, because it's quite fun. And I know I'm gonna be frustrated. You want to know of the goddess Morrigan? If it's about the goddess, you'd better sp you're better off speaking to Maven. And he sends us off. And I'm just gonna talk. So you're finally here. Now you are a respectable adult too, and you must have earned necessary titles for your age. Up till now, the age limit for adulthood was 18. But in Erin, the druid gives a ceremony for youths of the age like you, and this special event is so they remember the taboo gaze, which should never be violated. During the Second Magtoyred War, kids not even in their twenties fought as soldiers, and the meaning of the adulthood ceremony was soon lost. Nowadays, the adulthood ceremony reminds people to take responsibility for their own actions and also to congratulate them from growing up to be healthy and respectable adults. Under these circumstances, I congratulate you once again. Believe in yourself and never regret the decisions you make as you walk your way through adulthood. This is about all I have to say for now. By the way, now forgot to give you this and asked me to give you this gift. Press the mission complete button to receive it. Now seems to be looking after you. Haha. <laughs> yes. She is, actually. She's reviving me when if I die as well. And I got a bouquet. Present from now. I don't actually remember what age this character is right now. Uh, I'm just going to check real quick. She's 20. So, and let's see. There we go. I'm just going to go on with these quests a little longer and then I'm going to end it and I'm gonna do the Halloween dungeon in the next part, the Halloween party, because it's really, really fun to do, although you get can get extremely frustrated by it, especially if you solo it.
which I tend to do because, well, not a lot of, uh, or actually no one I know is online at the same time as me. So, don't really have anyone to do it with. So you wish to know more about the Blackwinged Goddess of War and Vengeance? Please take a look at this free reading material on Morrigan. You learned about Morrigan from Tarlac's memorial item, eh? In that case, there's something you should know. Tarlac is the only surviving member of the Three Warriors. I know, everyone claims he is dead. But he's actually alive if you want to speak to him yourself. Go to see the Snyakta at night. No, there's nothing more. What time is it now? 9 a.m. Of course. It's morning. And it needs to be night when I go there uh, to see him. So I'm actually going to end this episode, this part, uh, while it's a bit shorter than I usually make them. I'm gonna end it here and in the next part I am going to be going to Dumbarton and do the Halloween dungeon for you. That's probably gonna take up an entire part so <laughs> you have that to look forward to. Anyway this has been Luna walking around Erin and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!